might have to do some mental maths. I'm sorry, or whip your calculator out. But think about it. Okay, really think because this one catches a lot of people out. I'll give you some time to think, or you could just pause the video. Because this one takes quite a while to do the maths of. On the first day of Christmas, my true love came to me. I don't know if I know that song. On the twelfth day of Christmas, my true love came to me. Twelve drummers drumming, eleven pipers piping, ten lords are leaping. Or is it eleven lords are leaping, ten pipers piping? I don't know. Nine ladies dancing, eight maids are milking, seven swans are swimming, six geese are laying, five gold rings, four calling birds, three French hen, two turtle doves, and a partridge in a pear tree. Now that's the twelfth day. So think about it. I only realized like a week ago that two turtle doves in my head I have always pictured turtles and then I was watching a staged version of it on YouTube and all these ballet dancers came out and the two turtle doves came out and I was like they don't look like turtles at all and I was like oh doves turtle doves been a little bit silly my whole life. Have you worked it out yet? I have really fond memories with this song of like running laps around my sofa with my brother just singing this on repeat until we were completely exhausted. Now my knees wouldn't hold up. <laughs> okay, the answer is 364. One less than days of the year. And some people might be like, what? No, it's, it's 78. But no, think about it. If on the first day, they get a partridge in a pear tree, that's one. The second day, they get two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. That's three gifts. Plus the partridge in the pear tree from day one. Four. On day three, do you see where I'm going here? On day three, they get three French hens. Two turtle doves and a partridge in a pear tree. That's six gifts on day three. Right? Plus the three they got on day two. Plus the one they got on day one. So that is ten gifts. Right? And it goes on and on and on and on. So I think they get 78 on the twelfth day. So add up all those. Because every single day they're getting more and more and more like building up. Do you see what I mean? So they get 364 gifts. Okay, well done if you got that one right. It catches a lot of people out. Question number four. Which country provides the tree in Trafalgar Square? Now if you've watched Kirsty's Handmade Christmas, you might know this because she does a little segment where she goes to the country and she watches the tree be cut down. The whole like ceremony that they do. Have you been to Trafalgar Square and seen the, tr the Christmas tree? I have. I went last year. I was in London um, watching some shows with my mum. And we stopped off between shows to look at the Christmas tree. And it was, like, really freaking tall, obviously. Covered with Christmas lights. And it was dark and it was cold and there was, like, a Christmas market. And it was quite nice. Um, but... Yes. Do you know the answer? It is... Norway! I would love to go to Norway. If I could visit anywhere in the world, I would go to Norway. But I don't really like leaving the house. So. They like especially pick the trees so they know, like decades in advance, which tree is going to go to Trafalgar. And they cut down all the other trees surrounding it so it has like room to grow, which is a little weird, but. Okay, how are you doing so far? We are four questions in. Question number five. Who directed 
It's a Wonderful Life. Who directed It's a Wonderful Life? I don't think I know this actually. I don't think I do. I feel like this is more for older people or people that are movie buffs or really like It's a Wonderful Life. I am not that fussed about this movie. Like, it's fine. Every time a bell rings, an angel gets its wings. Um, yeah, I don't think I know this. I'm not good on directors either. Not really. I don't really know many. Um, which is bad for someone that wants to be an actor, but what are you going to do? Okay. Have you guys seen It's a Wonderful Life? I'd say it's worth a watch, like, at least one time in your life, but it's not a staple for every Christmas for our family. Okay. The answer is Frank Capra. I did know that, obviously, because I made this quiz, but yeah. It's not a name that sticks in my head. Frank Capra. Well done if you got that. And no cheating. But I'll know if you cheated. No, I won't. I have no way of knowing. Question number six. We're halfway through. How are we doing at the halfway point? Question number six. Why do we hang baubles on the tree? It's a little history question for you. Why do we hang baubles on the tree? I don't have any baubles to put on this tiny tree, but I don't think I really would like to do that. I could hang my crochet whale on there. Great. <laughs> Give you some time to think, time to maybe if you don't know the answer, think of something. You know, it's history. Anything is possible. I feel like if I did other quiz videos that have more questions in them, I'd go a bit quicker. But as it's a chill Christmas video that only has ten questions, I'm taking my time. Because I want it to be relaxing and not stressful. Do you have an answer yet? I think not a lot of people are going to know this. But. So, it originated in Germany after apples were hung on trees of paradise during miracle plays, which took place outside the church on Christmas Eve. A little bit of history trivia for you there. A lot of our traditions, like Christmas traditions, come from Germany, don't they? Because we had a German prince for a while when uh, with Albert and Victoria. And, um, yeah, a lot of Christmas traditions come from that. Come from him and he brought stuff over and then the UK was like, okay, we like him. <laughs> um, so, yeah. <laughs> don't know what miracle plays are basically they were just like um retellings of the bible or like holy stories i'm pretty sure um that they used to do so obviously they would do miracle plays on christmas eve to celebrate the birth of christ whatever um and so they would hang apples on the tree and people went hey that's a cool idea and created baubles so that's really cool Question number seven. In which country is it traditional to eat KFC for Christmas dinner? In which country is it traditional to eat KFC for Christmas dinner? Now, I don't agree with this as a vegan, but what can you do? A lot of countries don't actually celebrate Christmas like a lot of the people in the country like because they're not very Christian populated countries or, you know, um, not that I'm a Christian and I don't really know a lot of people that, like, don't celebrate Christmas, you know, like, you don't talk to people and say, oh, what's Christmas about to you? And then they go, the birth of Christ. No, they go, it's about bringing family together and spending time and showing appreciation for ones you love. You know, I, I, I never hear someone say it's about the birth of Jesus because that's just not like what most people think about. But I'm, you, 
I'm sure lots of people celebrate Christmas for Christ, but um, that's just not my family, and that's not most of the families I know. I know a family that doesn't celebrate Christmas at all, and they, they, they do like winter solstice instead. Um, I don't know if they're pagan or not, but yeah. I do actually have a pagan friend. I was actually researching the origins of Christmas the other day, and it's very interesting. It like stems as early as Roman beliefs, R Roman times when, um, who was it? I've forgotten which Roman emperor it was, but they used to celebrate this god every year, every winter, and then when Romans sort of switched to Christianity, they um, started celebrating Christmas, um, but not to celebrate Jesus, I don't think, it was still a different god, but anyway, yeah, a lot of people think it stems back to like pagan beliefs and things like that, but it's quite interesting, read up on it, I don't remember everything. Okay, do you have an answer? Do you have an answer? It is Japan, because a lot of Japanese people, most Japanese people are not Christians. What are they Hindu? I've forgotten what the main religion is in, is in Japan. Buddhist? No, I don't know. I, I'm just gonna not make random guesses because I don't know, I've forgotten. But yeah, that's why I know they obviously are like, yeah, we're not really gonna celebrate, let's just have some KFC. Fair dues. Okay, question eight. What is the name of the Grinch's dog? Now, if you haven't seen How the Grinch Stole Christmas, you might not know this, but like, come on. Where, where have you been your whole life if you've never seen How the Grinch Stole Christmas? Or just The Grinch, the Benedict Cumberbatch one, which I watched last year, which isn't amazing, but How the Grinch Stole Christmas is definitely a great film. Where are you, Christmas? So what's the name of his dog? I'm not gonna give too much time for this one. There's pigeons. Okay, time's up. The dog's name is Max. Max. Where's my dog? Max. It's a good film. I'd love a dog, but um, we can't really get one. Well, we could, but no. Plus, we just got a new kitten, so. Okay, next question, the penultimate question, question number nine. What is the all-time best-selling Christmas song? What is the all-time best-selling Christmas song? It might be different now, to be honest, like, who knows, like, what, if it's been overtaken or anything like that, but at the time of making this, it was this song. All time, the all time of all time. Think about it. Time to think. There's so many others to choose from. I'm very favorable to Christmas, to Sia's Christmas album, hence the uh, green and red hair. Although it looks very blue in this light. And it's faded quite a lot, so this side is quite blue and this side is quite pink, but I'll re-dye it before the big day. Okay, that's your time up. The answer is White Christmas by Bing Crosby. It's a classic. I'm dreaming of a white Christmas. It's a classic. Never gets old. That's a good film as well, White Christmas with Danny Kaye. Gosh, I love Danny Kaye. It's an oldie, but it's a goldie. And it came out in the 50s, I think, or maybe earlier, I'm not sure. So it's had a lot of time to sell. Uh, okay, the last question. The last question is, how many Christmas trees are chopped down every year? How many Christmas trees are chopped down, chopped, chopped down every year. Do you guys have a real tree or a fake tree, or do you even have a tree at all? I don't know. We have a fake tree, um, which I, I think is nicer for personally because I like putting it up every year. I suppose with a real tree, you get to go out and like pick one, but I like 
you know, putting some... I like putting um, on all the leaves, all the, the different branches and like sorting them into piles and pulling out the branches and, and um, getting some Christmas music on and then doing it and then having my brother yell at me because I didn't put them in right. Or <laughs> and we've had the same one. I think my mum got it when she was pregnant with me. So we've had it for a very long time. It's all I've ever known. Um, yeah, I'd quite like the idea of a white Christmas tree. I feel like that would be interesting. I don't know. I always see them like with purple and blue decorations. I think they're really cool. But I've got my trusty, dusty fiber optic. Op I can never say it. Fiber optic tree here, which I've had for a very long time as well. It's a bit crusty. It's a bit worse for wear, but we love her. She's doing great. She's got her little star. Which you can't see because it's out of frame, but what are you going to do? Okay, do you have an answer? How many Christmas trees are chopped down every year? What's your answer? The answer is... And give give yourself the point if you are... If you're close to... It is 120 million. I'd say give yourself the point if you got anywhere between 100 million and 150 million. You get the point, because it's close enough. That is mad, 120 million every single year. What you could do is, if you have a garden, get one, plant it after Christmas, and then it'll get bigger, and then you can just bring it back in the next year, and then keep reusing it and reusing it and reusing it, which is what my dad did when he was growing up. I just learned that, like, yesterday. <laughs> so that's fun. Oh, I lied. There are actually 11 questions. Why did I do 11 questions? That's a bit weird. Okay, there's a bonus question. Oh, this was quite sad, to be honest. Um, But yes, bonus question, bonus question. Da, 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 da. Question 11. Which famous Christmas singer died on Christmas Day? Which famous Christ, Christ I was gonna say Christian which famous Christmas singer died on Christmas Day? So they're not exclusively a Christmas singer, but they are famous for a Christmas song. Which is I don't know if it's ironic or not, but yes. Someone who's fame has a famous Christmas song died on Christmas Day. I'll give you some clues if you're stuck. Some people might know this instantly. They died quite recently. They were a part of a band. I have a bit of a crush on this person. Okay. That's your time up. What are we saying? Who do we think it is? Well, what have you said? The answer is... Mr. George Michael, part of Wham for a while. Obviously, they did Last Christmas, I gave him my heart. And he died on Christmas Day of 2016. So, almost eight years ago now. One of my favorite songs is Freedom 90. Love it. Freedom, I won't let you down. Okay, that is it. For the Christmas quiz, no more surprise questions. How did you do out of 11? Let me know. Um, I hope that you did well. I hope these weren't too hard or too easy. And, um, yes, congratulations if you got, I'll say, 8 and above. It's a damn good score. Well done. If you got half of them right, like 5 or 6... You can give yourself a pat on the back if you got three or four. Um, you need to brush up on your Christmas knowledge. And if you got one or two, do you even like Christmas? Do you even celebrate Christmas? Why are you here? Why are you on this video? And if you got seven, I don't even know. No, I'm kidding. Um, well done, no matter your score. I know the Christmas trivia is not 
a thing that a lot of people know about. You know, I definitely would have known, wouldn't have known the answers to most of these if I hadn't have made the quiz. I'm sorry if I dragged it out too much and you just wanted a quick quiz and I just talked and talked and talked, but that's what I do. Um, and I hope that you have a Merry Christmas or a Happy Holidays. And I will see you soon.